Good afternoon, welcome back to another channel. I'm John and today I'm going to do my match reaction and Newcastle got absolutely walloped by five goals to two against Leeds United at Ellen Road and to be fair it could have been eight or nine goals if it hadn't been for Carl Darlow. The team selection are Dawn Gellett, you put in Jake and Murphy from right wing to right back where Emma Craft is at the subs bench, yeah, why do you not start with him? And then you go and play a right winger, right? So you go and play a central midfielder into the right side of the field and Jeff Hendricks, yeah? He is not a winger. And I just don't get Steve Bruce's tactics at all, whatsoever. It looks like a 4 4 2 formation. You've got Sean Longstaff, you had a poor game alongside Isaac Hayden. There's no creativity there at all, whatsoever. And then you've got up front, you've got um, Joe Linton and Callum Wilson again. And Joel Luton had a poor, poor game for us as well. His first touch is shocking. He gives the ball away. And again, it's just gone back to the old Joel Linton. And everyone's saying, yeah, but he's improved. He's improved a lot. Yeah. Didn't see it last night, did I? Not at all. Yeah. And the back, and Freddy Fernandez, it's good to see him back. But again, he had a poor game. And he's not the only one. So... We started well for the first five minutes, yeah? And then, after that, we just gave the ball possession back to Leeds. Let you have it. You have the ball. We just set back, yeah? We just set back, and then we just have our usual 25-30% possession of the football, yeah? We scored a goal first, yeah? And to me, it's against the run of player. It was a lovely cross around Fiesa, and then and it finished up by Jeff Hendricks. Surprise, surprise. Where did it came that from? I don't know, but <clears throat> he scored. And that's the only good thing he's done, yeah? And then we could see the soft equalising goal. The cross came from the right. Darlow hesitated a little bit and then he knew he was caught in no man's land slightly. That right body went back. The ball hit the top of the post. And then Banford ended up headed into the empty net. And then it was 1-0. And to be quite honest with you, we were quite lucky to go in level because Carl Darlow made three or four top class saves again and also poor finishing from Leeds. So in the second half, again, Leeds started well, as usual. They got the second goal for Rodrigo, and again, it was poor defending. And then we got an equalising goal against one of the player when Kieran Clark headed a header from a corner, and they get twos each. And like I said, we don't serve two goals because, again, we've been absolutely shite. And then the third goal was just a mistake again. And as Longstaff caught again, him and Man Rearong. And then they scored from that. And then the last two goals came from corners, broken away, and Leeds got the four foot goals from our corner kick. We were absolutely shocking. Again, we're so defensive. We just sit back, we don't tackle. Who don't press, and again, we just let Leeds have the king of the pitch. Again, again, and Steve Bruce, he's got no tackle of Condos, he's brought on a Miron and Gill, we are too late, right? They can't do now in the last 15 minutes or so, they cannot do that. But again, I've got to call out a few players now. Jamal Lewis, he's been poor again. I dropped him in 0 out of 10 yesterday. What has he done? What has he created? What has he bring to the table? Yeah? And people say, yeah, but you're being unfair on him. Sully so turned two. Yeah, I'm judging him on the way he's playing at the moment. He's going to be a good player. He'll be top quality. But I'm afraid he's being coached by the wrong manager and Bruce. Bruce cannot coach these players. He cannot get the best out of these players. He cannot because he only plays one way. And that's hoofball. Yeah? we got good players at the club here. They can play attacking football. But see, Bruce cannot do that. Again, so it's all down to him. Sean Longstaff, I've got to call him out as well. He was absolutely terrible last night. There's no creativity in the midfield. He's making mistakes. He gives the ball away. And since he signed this um, contract with the civil agent, I don't know if his mind is elsewhere. Spurs has been linked with him. Man United has been linked to him a couple of years ago. He's got 18 months left on his contract, so if you don't want to sign a new deal, I'd just say, see you later. You can just move on to pass this new, because we only want players that's going to care about this club. And Sean Longstaff, 
As much as I like him, I don't want to cuss him out. But he's been not been playing well. I don't think he's been playing well, to be fair, yeah. But most Newcastle fans are still thinking that he's been wonderful. He hasn't been wonderful this season. Most players hasn't been great. But, again, Steve Bruce's press conference reaction is just a load of rubbish. I, I'm not going to listen to it. I'm not going to do a, a video of him. It's a waste of time, yeah. But, at the end of the day, we need a big game on Saturday. A big performance on Saturday against Fulham. Because that is a must-win game. He has got to get his tactics so spot on. Because if he doesn't, we lose that game. The next three or four games is going to be gigantic. We've got Man City away, Liverpool at home, Leicester at home, Arsenal away. And they could add Sheffield United away as well on top of that as well. But as things stands, if we lose those games and the teams win their games, we could be back in the bottom three or close enough to the bottom three. So... Like I said, it was a shambolic performance last night. The goals conceded were absolutely shocking. Darlow saved us again so many times. It could have been eight or nine goals. We're not good enough at this level. We just do not press. And you know what I do now, right? I'm going to be brief here. If we lose on Saturday, right? I sack Bruce straight away on Saturday night. I'm bringing Slavin Village. He's just lost his job at West Brom, unluckily. And harshly as well. I'll take Slavin Village at Newcastle all day long because he plays football the right way. He's got an identity to his team and the players will follow him. Yeah, he's a passionate manager and he's still a young manager as well. So I'll take him. So it's been a disappointing result last night, but not a surprise. But listen, if you like me video, if you leave a comment down there down below. Subscribe if you do, drive a likes so up, I'll reply to as much as I can and you can always catch us on Twitter and until then I should do another content at some stage and until then, have a good day.